Over the last 25 years, NASA has sent orbiters, rovers, and landers to Mars, all of which trying to understand whether it be the soil, the atmosphere, or the magnetic field that surrounds the planet. However, there are still a few disciplines of science that haven't fully been understood about the planet, one of which is the geophysical or basic structure of what Mars is like. So the InSight mission is trying to uncover how exactly Mars formed 4.5 billion years ago. So let's talk about that. So what is InSight? First of all, InSight is short for Interior Exploration Using Seismic Investigation, Geodesy, and Heat Transport. It has a mass of about 360 kilograms and has a dimension of about 6.1 by 2 by 1.4 meters when the solar panels are fully expanded. So the purpose of InSight is to try and understand how exactly Mars formed. By using that data and comparing it to Earth, we'll be able to create more of a model of how terrestrial planets as a whole form and what we need to be looking for when we search for exoplanets in other solar systems. So how is InSight going to actually understand how Mars formed four and a half billion years ago? Well, it has three main science experiments. The first one being a seismometer, the second one being a heat flow probe, and the third one being a radio science experiment. So first off, the seismometer. The seismometer, also called as SACE, stands for the Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure. This setup is actually going to be taken off the lander and placed directly on the surface of Mars, separate from the lander itself. It's so precise that it can measure all the way down to the difference of a hydrogen atom in terms of seismic activity on the planet. It will also be able to measure meteor strikes and how atmospheric effects such as dust devils and dust storms will affect the planet as a whole. So SACE was actually developed by the French Space Agency and InSight was actually planned to launch in 2016, but due to a vacuum leap right before integration into the final launch vehicle, they had to postpone the mission to, well, 2018. So the second experiment is a heat flow probe, also known as HP cubed. And HP cubed stands for heat flow and physical properties package. And this was developed by the German Aerospace Center. So HP cubed is actually gonna act as a self hammering nail, which means it's gonna dig itself all the way down to about five meters into the Martian regolith. However, that doesn't sound so far, that's actually the deepest we've ever dug into Mars. So once it goes all the way down, there'll be sensors every 10 centimeters that are going to measure the temperature of the probe or the gradient all the way down from 5 meters down to the surface. This is going to give a rust estimate about how much heat is actually flowing through the crust of Mars, which will give us more information about how much heat is actually exhausted out of Mars's inner core. This third experiment is called RISE, which stands for the Rotation and Interior Structure Experiment. This is going to try and look at how exactly Mars is changing in its orbit. For example, every about 18 Earth years, Earth wobbles a little bit in its orbit. However, once every Mars years, Mars wobbles in its orbit. Now, what does that mean? Well, this experiment is going to be able to measure the exact location in space that it is within two centimeters. This will give a very precise number on how exactly Mars changes throughout its orbit. Now, this is important because if, for example, if you take a water bottle and try and spin it around, it's going to slosh around and it's going to be a little bit difficult to spin. But if you take that exact same glass of water and freeze it and then spin it, then it'll be much easier to spin because it's a solid. The same thing in terms of the inner core. If the inner core is solid, it's going to be much easier for Mars to rotate. However, if it's molten and liquid, then it's going to swash around in the inside and thus create this type of wobbling effect. So now we know what experiments are in InSight, we have to understand when and where it's going to land. It's going to be in a transfer orbit from Earth to Mars for about 7 months, landing on Mars around November 26th. So since InSight's not really understanding a lot about what's on the surface, but rather what's underneath the surface, it doesn't matter so much where it lands. One of the main things they had to include in where it lands is being close to the equator so that its solar panels could be efficient and see sunlight a lot. In addition, they wanted to be at a low altitude because there, the atmosphere is a little bit thicker, which gives them a little bit more lean way in terms of aero braking. So it turns out NASA chose Elysium Planitia, the area on Mars, which is about 600 kilometers away from the Curiosity rover for InSight to land. So the mission overall is planning to last about two Earth years or a little over one Mars year, and it's going to take about 50 to 100 days to get the experiments up and running. Now, if you are interested in this video, check out my series called The Case for Mars, where I explore all the different rovers and orbiters 
whether or not we can actually terraform the planet, and if colonizing is something we could see in our future. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in new episodes.